Hi, I'm Koichi Hayashida, the director of Super Mario 3D World. We actually had the Wii U version in mind when we were working on Super Mario 3D Land. Our challenge this time was figuring out what multiplayer would be like in a 3D Mario game. Since it's multiplayer, you can carry each other. You can jump off a cliff, throw the other player, and keep going on. Making sure you're able to do all this can actually be a lot of work. When you clear a stage this time, you'll see a result screen. In multiplayer mode, you will see a graph that shows who got how many points. Seeing the score in multiplayer really changes how people play. For example, you'll all race to get a certain item because it's worth a lot of points. And you'll find yourself wanting to play levels repeatedly to beat your friend's scores. I hope you all give it a shot. There are four playable characters this time. Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, and Toad. Mario is the well-rounded character you would expect. Luigi, as usual, can jump a bit higher. Princess Peach has the ability to float in mid-air. She's great for beginners because she probably won't fall into pits too easily. Toad is, in a sense, for the expert players. I say this because he's the fastest. In recent 3D Mario games, a part of the fun has been trying to see how fast you can clear a course. I think people will want to challenge themselves to clear a stage with the fastest time using Toad. Cat Mario has lots of interesting new moves that are very cat-like. You can slide like a cat, and the jump attack looks like something a real cat would do. But the best part is that you can climb walls. Real cats do this too. They climb on walls and walk on top of fences. Being able to do that kind of stuff is really a lot of fun. You're also able to climb up goalposts, like this. The green warp pipes are kind of a popular symbol now. But, I've always wondered, what's Mario up to while he's in there? So, we made the pipes transparent. Now you can see inside, so we decided to put things like coins and enemies in them. You could run through and grab the coins, but hitting an enemy still causes damage. And now, you can see where you're going, so you can avoid enemies by moving a stick to go to a different part of the pipe as it branches out like this. With Fire Mario, you can throw fireballs into a pipe and hit enemies with it. That's pretty fun too. If you're playing on the gamepad, you can use the touch screen to freeze enemies and objects. You can freeze enemies like this. You can even touch moving platforms to stop them too. There are also invisible coins and invisible blocks hidden everywhere. So if you think a spot looks suspicious, Touch it, and for a moment, you might see blocks appear. This is a good way to let others know you found something in multiplayer. That's one way to use this new feature. We also added a mode where you can control the camera using the gyro sensor. You can move the camera left and right, like this, and rotate it up and down. This makes it a lot easier to search for hidden green stars. In past games, like Super Mario 64, you were able to move the camera around while you play. You can play just like that in this game, Super Mario 3D World. 
We refined a lot of ideas from Super Mario 3D Land when making Super Mario 3D World, so you might see some familiar elements, but there are a ton of brand new ideas here as well. Our team has been making 3D Mario games for quite a while now, and it's feeling a lot like this new game is going to be the grand culmination of all the best ideas from past 3D Mario games.